Hello, I'm Jeff Trombetta, Professor of Culinary Arts and Hospitality at Norwalk Community College. And today, the lesson is on breading and deep fat frying. You can see the finished products here. French fries, fried zucchini, and fried shrimp. It's a light breading coating, which we will go over and explain the procedures, the methodology, and technique to perform these. So, what we have is peeled potatoes, and I'm going to be cutting them a French fry cut, as these I'm showing you now were cut on a tool called the mandolin. This is the mandolin, and what we do is we take whole potato away. I'm showing you on the fryer that we are setting the thermostat to 275 degrees. This is called blanching. The, the French fries go into the 275 degree oil and they partially cook. They actually get tender all the way through but there's no browning at this stage and that's why it's called blanching. Of course we will fry them again at a hotter temperature where, where they will fully brown nice and even and golden. Okay, That's this stage right now where I'm dropping them again and we showed the temperature setting all the way up to 360 degrees. That is the browning mode. And you can see how these french fries are coming out of the oil and they are brown, nice and golden and crisp. That is the technique for making french fries. Cutting them, drying them if you soak them in water, dropping them 250 degrees and pouring them and then frying them again. And you can see them on the platter as I will present again later. Now we are moving into zucchini. And I cut this relatively thick, almost a half inch thick, and I cut it on a bias, and I keep on turning the zucchini at different angles so I can get the same size of the zucchini so there's uniformity in portion. Now I'm breaking an egg to prepare the standard breading procedure. It's about a one to three ratio, one part water to three parts egg. So you have to thin the egg a little bit because the standard breading procedure is flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. I'm seasoning the cut zucchini now with salt and pepper. I will put them into the flour and I will what they call dredge the zucchini. Okay, I'm coating it with the flour and making sure they're all coated. I'm taking off the excess flour because it will fall off anyway. The idea is dry, wet, dry. So the dry flour will uh, have the egg wash adhered to it. And so now I'm shaking off the excess flour like I had said and I am putting them in the egg wash. And now I'm coating the flour with the egg wash and I'm putting them in breadcrumbs. I am using panko breadcrumbs. It's a coarser breadcrumb than a standard breadcrumb. It's a Japanese style breadcrumb. Okay, I'm coating it and uh, it's a light coating. I could double bread them I could use a different breadcrumb, I could use a batter, but I choose to, uh, chose to use this lighter breadcrumb and uh, make a, a panko-styled panko Japanese breading. So anyway, you see that I'm breading them, covering all sides of the zucchini, the zucchini's uniform in shape. I'm dropping them into a 350 or 60 degree fryer later, whichever you prefer. Um, I'll get a little browner quicker, the 360, and now they are golden brown, and you can see the zucchini right through the breadcrumb. Make sure you drain it well, which that's why I let it hang over the frying vat for a while. And there's a very thin layer of breading that has adhered to the zucchini, and there is the final shot. Now, the same standard breading procedure with shrimp. I have shrimp. These are a large or a very large shrimp, about 15 to the pound. And I am butterfly them because they'll take a nice shape when they fry and it's easy for me to remove the vein that way. I'm coating them well with the flour and I am shaking off the excess because the excess will fall off with the breading later on. So I want just a thin coating of flour adhering to the shrimp. 
and now the egg wash, which again was a three to one ratio, three parts egg, one part water, the water is to thin it slightly, and that uh, I coat all sides of the shrimp, put it into the panko breadcrumbs, and I coat all sides of the shrimp again. I don't coat the tail. You see the tail hanging out. Some gets on there because that's an effect and it becomes almost a handle if you were to eat this with your fingers, which many people do. And plus the way I have it better butterflied, the shrimp stands up, as you can see. Um, this is a favorite amongst all people. And again, this is the standard breading procedure. Product, flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. These will go into a 360 degree fryer. Don't overcrowd. They will stick together in there. Some products will stick more than others. So you want to make sure they're loose. Don't shake them too much because you'll shake off the breading. And you pull them out when they're fully cooked, which would be uh, 140 degree internal temperature for shrimp. And train them. Train them well. As you can see, the fat is dripping off. Always drain onto towel, which we did in our french fries. We did in our zucchini. That is a nice, crisp, golden color, and it locks in the juices and becomes a, becomes a very delectable product. I'm now slicing a raw red onion for a little bit of garnish for my final presentation. Okay, and now I'm going to make the tomato rows. The tomato rows you start from the bottom, and you have to have a very thin knife, and you cut off the bottom, don't cut it off, you cut through the bottom and that becomes the pedestal of the rose later on. Now as you can see, I'm essentially peeling the tomato and I'm doing a saw push motion and making sure all of the skin will be removed. And I get to the bottom of the tomato and the more skin you take off, the better. So I'm going to maximize the amount of skin that I have so I have a nice full tomato rose. And I spread this out on the counter. I put the skin side down, the skin side, the part that was touching the flesh of the tomatoes on the inside. And I start from where I finished up and that becomes the bud. I roll that up, try to get it nice and tight. I am pivoting it off my thumb. I could always pull on the skin a little bit more to make it tighter. Now, as I'm doing now, and I keep on rolling it up, making sure I shape it as I go, and use all of the length of the skin that I sliced off the tomato. And then that bottom piece, that flat piece, was the first piece that I cut off the tomato, and that becomes the pedestal. And it sits right on that pedestal. Now, as I'm finishing up the platter by putting the shrimp on there and I always try to lay it on there so it looks somewhat presentable. I do have it on a bed of baby spinach and um, here's a zucchini and french fries to follow and uh, this is a very appetizing looking platter and there are your french fries and I will lay the garnish down and Put a little bit of onions and pop the tomato right on top of that and I angle it so it has some aesthetic appeal and essentially looks like a garden. There you have it. I hope you learned the lessons of the standard breading procedure, frying temperatures appropriate to the product, a little bit about the cutting and preparation of the potatoes, the zucchini and the shrimp, and of course, final presentation of the product.